Hello, ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Marcus here again. I'm here because you are on my mind. I'm thinking of you. I love you. I want the best for you. And when something comes to me, I want to share it with you. Let me ask you, what do you think about pain and suffering? Pain and suffering. Now, I believe that pain and suffering is unacceptable to all of us. None of us really want to experience pain and suffering. However, we do know that pain and suffering is an indication of something that is wrong. And to get rid of this pain and suffering, it must be fixed. Now, Oftentimes I've come to you and I have said that America and the world at large and all of its people, basically, that this represents hell. I say that because there are so many things in the world that causes pain and suffering, which needs to be fixed. And I'm thinking about what are those things that allows us to escape the pain and suffering. We think about being fair. We talk about justice. You remember when we were children, all we wanted to be satisfied was to have our needs, one our, our wants and our needs met. And if that was met, then we were satisfied with who we were. And we could mingle and jive with all of the kids anywhere, any playground. We were satisfied. We were satisfied. We weren't jealous of anybody. We had what we required to be able to be satisfied. That was as children. And so, ladies and gentlemen, as we think of that in that form, I want you to also think about we as adults. Why are we always trying to get more? Billions more, millions more. Why? I mean, what happened that allowed that youthfulness, that honest genuineness to fade. Well, <clears throat> look at it like this. It all is a result of deception. It's all a result of deception. That's how we allowed ourselves to walk that path. And in walking that path, we have much pain. We have much suffering. But because we are deceived, we don't care. We keep on walking that path. Now, walking that path, we find that in America, <clears throat> we have the largest prison population in the world. In other parts of the world, we find people that are so marginalized, people who are beat down and brought so low, they have no voice at all. They got one person speaking for them, whether they get up, what time they get up, what time they go to bed, what jobs they can have, how much money they get. You got all kinds of things that's going on that creates pain and suffering, not just in America, but all over the globe. It is pain and suffering indicating that there's something that's wrong that needs to be fixed if you want to stop the pain and suffering. Now, a moment ago, I was going to share with you how this thing could work so you wouldn't have to worry about the pain and suffering. Look at it like this. Let's put all that we know, basically, aside and just reflect on a couple of things. When we used to have the horse and buggy, and the, you know how that whole process worked, even that was a miracle. But to come from that to where we are, are at today in modes of transportation. No geniuses were born. The Fords, they weren't geniuses. They were people just like you and, and myself who came to this earth with a gift from the provider of the earth through an individual to present to the human population to bring their transportation up a step higher. That's what it was, ladies and gentlemen, a gift for the human population wherever individuals wanted to access and benefit from. This is a gift from a power that created the earth for all human beings. But you know what? There was a deceptive factor at the door. There were some what you might call thugs, a gang of thugs who were sitting there saying, oh, no, don't do that, don't do that. 
You can be better than that. Make money off of it. Be somebody. Make them buy it. Don't just give them these cars. You get them to invest. You make the cars. Then you sell them the cars. And you keep the profit. Well, then come, for, say for instance, the telephone. Man, you know what we do, the telephone. You know the price of telephones a day. But what was it? It was a gift from the power that we can't see that gave us the earth. That gave us the gold and the iron and the gas, all of that. Sent it through people to introduce it to the human population. A gift. But somebody was at the door following that deceptive thing, said, oh, we're better than they are. You can make money. You can make money. And so today, ladies and gentlemen, everything that God has given us freely, I'm telling you, everything that God has given us freely has been taken from us. Some of it viciously taken. Some of it we just given it to them. And the thugs are right there today trying to take America as low as it can go. You know them. They lie. They cheat. They don't have no respect for anything. And they are expecting you, the American people, to be just as silly, to be just as stupid, to be just as ignorant, to be just as demonic as they are. Now, who are they? You know who they are. I don't have to call their name. They are telling you every day who they are. They are telling you by what? The pain and suffering that they are willing to cause others just to have their needs met and convincing you that you will benefit from it too. Engaging you in the process. Well, yes, I call this hell because all things again are given to the human race freely. The gifts to utilize them have been given to us for the benefit for all of us. And there's a demon spirit that wants to cause as much pain and suffering as possible, getting people rather than bring it to the earth and give it to humankind as it was given. As I'm telling you now, you're not paying me. I'm giving you this truth. I'm not in anybody's church. Nobody's taking up an offering. I'm not asking anybody for any tithes. I'm not asking anybody for anything. I'm asking you to change. And if you don't change, you can take me out of this world because I don't want to have anything to do with these maggots. Now, when I say maggots, what, I'm what am I talking about? I'm talking about stuff that comes from flies. You know what a fly is? You know how they lay these eggs and these things become maggots? And I think they might even turn into flies. But it's filth. It's a sign that something needs to be cleansed. cleansed. And I don't want to have anything to do with it except trying to cleanse it. And if something says, well, you can't cleanse me, baby. You better come on down here in this mud and stuff with me. Bye-bye. <laughs> you can have it. I just want to make that little thing, ladies and gentlemen. What I really want you to understand is that Republicans are not the answer. They represent a voice of a group of people. Democrats are not the answer. They represent a voice of a group of people that differ with one another of the two groups. And what you require requires a communion between the two groups. That can happen. That can happen. So the reason that it cannot happen is because of the philosophy of each one of them. Neither philosophy allows for both to happen. One is selfish, the other is selfish. One thinks it's best, the other thinks it's best. And each of them cause pain and suffering. So the gamble and the test is with you, ladies and gentlemen. It is what will you do. They are not going to change unless you change. As long as they can get away with what they're doing and they are getting away with it, they are going to continue. And if you find yourself turning from a fly to a maggot and back to a fly, it's because either you were just so deceived, you were so out of touch with the truth, and neither of those are anything you should brag about because you have a chance right now in the midst of this hell that you're in today to change. And what does that mean? That means caring about everybody else. Black people caring about whites. Whites caring about blacks. Men caring about women. Women caring about men. That they eliminate the pain and suffering. The pain and suffering. And you ask them what is their pain and suffering. You don't determine what their pain and suffering is. You ask and they tell you. Thank you ladies and gentlemen.